Welcome back. Today's gonna be different. One of my subscribers sent me two amazing figures. Black Adam. This one is the one with a cloak. And another one, the plain one. So let's take a look at them. For those following my channel, you may have noticed that I don't have a lot of action figures when it comes to DC. Batman, of course, I've had them for quite a while. And I think I have one Superman and a few others, but Black Adam, I've never had one until this. Let's take a look quickly. And I can say that the choice for Dane Jensen is a really really good one as a black adam this is the part where they get they got everything right in terms of this particular character So you got to use your card in there and then you have the stand. I'm not going to take off that stand because I do have a lot of stand for this. And here he is. Let's look at the face quickly. That is such a nice sculpt. It looks very realistic. Right to the ear. And look at that. a bit of a an issue here but you know what you really can't expect this things to be perfect but even from this distance it looks really really good so you got head movement a bit of a head movement here more to the side than front and back and then the arms, you can raise the arms. It's got 22 point of articulation. So, but look at that, because this is double jointed. Is it double jointed? No, it's not double jointed. It's not double jointed, but still, you can bend it far enough. Look, so that's pretty good. You got the symbol right here. And this one is actually better. Oh, actually it's double jointed this one doesn't seem to be oh it is it is double jointed there you go there you go I didn't notice it right away and that's a good thing about double jointed elbows how far you can bend them to make them more realistic when it comes to posing and everything now look at that look at that bend there's a little bend on the chest and a little bit of a twist but not on the torso itself so on the torso there's no twisting on it it's more on the chest level stomach right there and then what about the feet ah uh, see now with the legs you got a limit on how you can bend it backwards but the knees are double jointed as well so you can bend it this part here it's this and then on the feet oh look at the toe you can bend the toe and then the feet you can turn there's a little bit of movement like that and of course it's going to be the same on the other feet now going forward there you go that's as far as you can put it out without breaking it and that you know yeah and that's how you can split well that's that's a bummer when you can't bend them more like 
forward and backward on the tie I wish you could bend it further so you could pose it a little bit more and there you go now wouldn't it be cool if you could actually lift this thing up you know let me show you something this is black star I'm not sure if you or a lot of you remember this character but this is from the 80s now look at the chest carefully see that that spark is caused by this and the principle was similar to a uh, lighter you know sepa lighter let's put this aside so imagine if that feature that action feature is available here and this thing sparks wouldn't that be better wouldn't that be great but i don't know what's happening to uh, toy maker nowadays they should be better i mean they're better in articulation but some of the action features that we actually enjoyed back in the days they just couldn't seem to get i mean look at this see see that now imagine that in here that would be so awesome now i'm starting to think is there a way that i could get this out of here and put this in here maybe yes maybe not i mean if you have a lot of articulation then that means there's a lot of things that you have to do inside to make it so and i don't know if you have enough space inside but you know i think it can be done whether they will do it i'm not really sure before we move on to the black adam with a cloak that show let me show you the accessories that he has so it's mostly for a lightning effect on his hand there you go so he got that lightning effect and that's cool i mean can't complain and there you have it with the lightning effects on his hand let's take a quick look there you go that is black adam from the DZ Multiverse. Now let's move on to the next one. This is another Black Adam from DC Multiverse, but this time, this one is a cloak. Again, nice graphics. card and a stand which I'm going to be keeping inside because I do have a lot of stand now this action figure doesn't come with the accessories and you can't really remove the bulk you know the presence of this cloak actually limits the head movement you can't move the head sideways but in terms of articulation you have this on the hand on the arm up and down to the side there you go and then it's also double jointed so you can move it as far as this this way you can see that the hand can open Compared to the other one, which is a close test, we do have the torso. We can move it like this. Now, this connection not being in here also gives you a very limited movement. And then the legs is the same, it's limited to this much. And right to the back and on the front the same very limited 
but this is also double jointed so you can bend it as much as this aside from the double jointed uh, on the beat you can move it sideways the toe you can adjust the toe and a little bit of movement on the ankle Now the cloak is made of rubber and I'm not sure if I'm a very big fan of these things. I mean, in the, uh, I understand why they do this. I mean, they do this so you have the look and you always keep that look, especially if you're just going to display them, right? But I would have wanted a fabric. It's not going to have the same look, but it's fabric. I mean, probably there's a fabric right now that, that are memory, memory fabric. So you can, you know, put it in a certain way and it will keep like that. And then if you apply static on it, it becomes, you know, something else. But that might increase the cost. So. Again, I understand why they wouldn't do it. And again, this thing, this thing, I wish they would have done something like this. And I'm gonna show it again because I really love, love this thing. You see that? This is a 1980s toy. This is very old and it is still working. And I don't understand why they couldn't put it in here. I mean, this one probably because of the cloak. No, you can still put it, see? But, again, cost of this, cost of this back then, versus cost of this, they could have made something similar. Now, I can tell you, both of these pictures are difficult to stand, even with the stand that they came with. More so on this one because it's back heavy because of the cloak so what I did is I had this thing that I used for special effects and I borrowed the accessories on the other one and there you go now it looks better now if you haven't watched the movie yet you might want to stop watching this now because this is going to contain a spoiler. Are you still there? Here we go. Now let that sink in. That is one going to be an amazing movie. So everyone, thanks again for watching and I will see you on my next video. Bye.